Okay, so I hope everyone can hear me. Um, excuse my voice. Um, I'm down here at Exeter Key, as you can see behind me. Um, as, as you can see, something rather unusual has happened today. Um, Butts Ferry, which has been here since the 70s, has washed away um, down the quays where it used to be. Um, I'm just going to turn the camera around so you can have a little look. So here's where I am. I'm down at Trues Weir at Exeter Quay where Butts Ferry has washed away um, and it has become stuck right here. Uh, a little bit about the ferry. So it's been in Exeter since the 1970s. It was set up by a guy called George Butts. Um, thousands of people protested to keep this service running in Exeter um, and as far as I'm aware it still costs 20p for a ride across across the quay. Um, so I'm just going to walk up and down so people can see whereabouts it's lodged. Hi Rose. So this is where it is exactly on the quay. Come on Shane, this is news. Everybody loves this thing. So this is where it is here. Exeter City Council are aware of aware of it um, and they have said that they are planning ways of trying to retrieve Butts Ferry. Not a very strong swimmer, Michael, I can't. <laughs> Hi Tess. Luckily it's such a beautiful day down here today, so I'm just going to walk along so um, you guys can see exactly where it is. Poor thing is stuck. <coughs> so for those of you just tuning in, um, I'm Abby Ray, I'm here for Devon Live this morning. Um, where Butts Ferry has washed away down the quay. Uh, hi Sandra. Um, Penny, it's Butts Ferry, which has been in Exeter since the 1970s. It's run by, or owned by, um, Exeter City Council. They are aware of the issue and they said they are going to try and retrieve Butts Ferry from, from the quay and put it back in its rightful place. Yeah, Karen, you're right, I am at Trues Weir, but obviously it's down from where the key is. <laughs> Vicky, have you been on it since you were 12? And like I said before, thousands of people protested for this service to stay in Exeter. Yes, Samantha, that's the one. It seems to have um, washed away down from Bar Valencia and Waterfront. Come on guy, you're watching it. You're watching it. Helen, it's such a beautiful day down here. I'm so happy it's not raining. So, it seems to have come from this direction, up here. It usually runs across from Bar Valencia and the waterfront. Um, we're unsure of how it became unstuck at the moment. Could be weather related, but Exit to City Council aren't actually sure and it seems to have made its way all the way down here. No, Helen, it's not moving. It seems to have lodged itself right here. those of you just tuning in with us this morning we're here down at Trues Weir uh, where Butts Weir the Butts Ferry has come come unstuck from its rightful place
Nathan, it's uh, Butts Ferry. It's got a lot of history in Exeter. It's been here since the 70s. David, I'm sure it will be repairable. Exeter City Council are aware of, of the situation and they said they are going to um, come and retrieve it today. Sarah, we're not sure how it happened. This is where it has ended up. That's not very nice of you to say, Lawrence. I'm doing my best here, um, trying to bring you the news. So, and you are watching, so you must be interested in what I've got to say. Katie, it is um, Butts Ferry, which is a ferry in Exeter which gets you from one side of the quay to the other and it's cut, washed down, down Trues Weir. Happy birthday, Glen Heal. <laughs> there you go, Slim. And that's where we are today. We're here on the quay. The ferry has been here since the 1970s by a guy called George Butt, hence why it's called Butts Ferry. It's now owned by Exeter City Council. Lawrence, I'm not sure what that means. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if my voice isn't interesting enough for you. I have got a bit of a cold, so. Nancy, there really are so many rude people. I don't get it either, but thank you so much for watching anyway. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paula. <coughs> thank you so much, Hayley. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. Stephen, it was, it was tied up, but it has, it escaped and it, we're not sure how, and it's washed down the quay, down to Trueswear, um, and this is where it's ended up, and it seems to have lodged itself nicely on, on the bank here. Luckily, it's not raining today, it's beautiful down here. Hi Sarah, hi Angela, thank you for watching. It is indeed. Tied up properly. Denise, Exeter City Council have said that they will be here at some point today to come and um, retrieve Butts Ferry. As you can see, it's quite comfortable. It's sat here at the moment. Lots of people I've seen that have been walking past um, to take pictures. Thank you, Anne, that's very kind. Me too, Christine. We hope we can get it back working again. 
But Exeter City Council did mention that the service doesn't actually run in the winter time anyway, it's just for the summer. So they've said that they are going to look at retrieving it today. Harry, I don't think I'd be strong enough to save the boat. Not on my own. So for those of you that are just joining us right now, uh, we're here down at Trues Weir, which is uh, just along from Exeter Quay, where Butts Ferry has washed away down, down the quay, and it's ended up here. It's been a service in Exeter since the 1970s. The service does only run in the summertime. John, it probably would be more dramatic if I did it on the ferry itself, but I'm not going to risk that, I'm afraid. Sorry. Just for your entertainment. <coughs> uh, Nicola, it's usually the service that it runs is usually from Bar Venencia and Waterfront, which is down just further up that way um, on the quay so it's come quite a distance actually um, we can't confirm how how it's become unstuck Yes, Carol, it's such a beautiful day today. Just go back down this way to have a little look. So I'll just do a little recap um, before I do sign off. So we are here at Trues Weir, where Butts Ferry has escaped from its usual home, which is up by Waterfront and Barvenencia, where it runs a service across, across the quay. Exeter City Council have been made aware of this, and they have said to us that they will be retrieving the ferry today. Um, so, thank you all for watching. <laughs>